Lex Johnson here and I discuss all things health, wealth, and real estate. Today we're going to be talking about how to find a lender. This is the person that is going to finance your new investment property, your new home purchase. Uh, a lender is basically a bank or credit union uh, that loans you money to buy a home. How do you find a lender? You can uh, go through online websites. You can literally Google Best Lenders 2021 and check out reviews uh, and reach out to them. Also, word of mouth. I found my lender by my real estate agent who turned out to be awesome uh, and so there's various ways that you can find a lender but basically it's a bank or credit union that's going to lend you money to buy your home um, why lenders are so important lenders if you call a lender and say hey i'm interested in buying a house they're going to typically say okay let's do a pre-approval a pre-approval is when they run your credit they check your ba bank statements they check uh, your employment history uh, they want to verify everything and ultimately uh, the pre-approval is a letter that tells you how much money they're going to lend you to buy a house uh, so you're not looking at two million dollar houses and you got a three hundred thousand dollar budget okay so this gives you a realistic number uh, that they will lend you uh, in order to uh, buy the home that you're interested in. The other thing is they give you a better understanding of your financial predicament. So what do I mean by that? They're, when they pull your credit, they're going to look at all three credit scores. They're going to know where you land. And often credit is the number one thing that stops people from moving forward. They either know their credit's bad or they don't know what it looks like. And that uncertainty, that limbo, it, it can keep us stifled. Why you should not let it keep you stuck is even if your credit isn't good enough, the lender has a solution. They get paid by helping you buy this house. So for me, I didn't have credit that was good enough. And so the lender said, hey, this is where you are, but if you pay down this on this student loan, if you pay down that on that credit card, it's going to get you 23 points higher. Your credit will be high enough to get approved uh, for that house that you're interested in. Now, they still give me a pre-approval, so I knew roughly what it was going to take, but in order for me to go forward with purchasing that home, I had to do a little work on my credit. Other thing is uh, they're gonna give you a realistic number of how much money you're going to need for down payment, for closing costs, et cetera. The money part tends to be taboo too, but the lender is gonna give you a realistic Snapchat uh, of what you're going to need. Uh, I remember I ended up doing some different things with the house I, I was purchasing and I, the lender came to me and said, hey, you're going to need this much money for the down payment and closing costs. And I was frank with him. I don't have that much money. So what next? And he went digging and found that with an FHA 203K, the seller can actually pay up to 6% of the closing costs. So what does that look like? Let's say you're buying a house and it's $100,000. You can make an agreement with the seller to buy the house for $106,000. You sign an addendum or agreement that you're not actually um, paying more for the house, but that extra 6,000, you can use it towards your closing costs. That was phenomenal. That definitely helped me uh, because I did not have quite enough. So this is why we want to reach out to a lender in the very beginning of our home buying process. It gives us a realistic snapshot of where we are, uh, how much they're going to lend. Uh, and then when we're quit, we can find those houses with confidence and say, hey, I know I can afford this. So hope this video helps. If you're not already, follow me on all my social media handles. It's Lex Johnson, M-M-X-I-X. -X. There we go. Follow me on all my social media channels. Much more content. I'm also going to do a video uh, on down payment assistance programs. There's many, many programs that help you if you don't have a lot of cash on hand, but still want to get into real estate. So I hope this helps.